Welcome back to another part of Paleo. Right now we have some important dialogue from Kenyatta, so I figured we would start there and see what happens after that. Oh, you're here. Cool. I was actually about to send a letter. So I think I have to break up with N Nayo. <laughs> I'm going to say about time. Yeah, I guess it is. He was always just supposed to be fleeing to Pat. Uh, to make my mom mad. Things went on way longer than they were supposed to, and then you came along. Uh, <laughs> it's for the best, right? It's for the best. You're right. I was avoiding it because I didn't want to deal with it, but I can't ignore him forever. And I kind of miss when he and I were cool with each other. Ugh. Can you break up with him for me? Um, I mean, I suppose so. Sure. No, no, I should do it myself. Dragon, this is going to suck. So, uh, hey, thanks for talking things out with me. I'll see you later. So after we talked to Kenyatta in the library, we actually got a letter in the mail. And the letter reads like this. It says, Dear Eliza, so I did it. I broke up with Nayo, and I think both of us were actually kind of relieved it happened. You know, I think we were just meant to be friends. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about, though. Can you stop by sometime? Kenyatta. And we now have a new quest called Something Afoot in Bahari Bay. And we need to go and talk to Kenyatta. So we are going to head off and go talk to her. She should be in the city hall building at this point of the day. There you are, you're not going to want to miss this. So, someone out there is totally attacking traveling merchants and blaming it on wild animals. You and I have to get to the bottom of it. Uh, I'm going to need a little context. So get this, I was studying with Kane when... The sky bursts into the temple, all messed up and begging for help. It looks like he's been mauled by a shove. I have no idea what that is, or something. We stabilize him, and Kane tells me there have been a lot more attacks like this around the bay lately. Lots of travelers have gone missing between here and the city. It's got to be the Bahari Ripper. The Bahari who? The Bahari Ripper. They're this criminal who's evaded the city watch for years. The victim had all the hallmarks of the Ripper. It's totally their M.O. Which means the Ripper is hiding out somewhere in Bahari Bay. Uh, we've got to stop him. Dang right we do. I knew you'd be perfect partner for the job. I've got a plan. You know the bay way better than I do, so I'll check the village for signs of the Ripper. And you'll go look out in the bay. If the Ripper's heading around here, we'll find them and bring them to justice. Just be careful. Don't worry, I know how to take care of myself. You watch yourself too, okay? If you have to leave, just go. Um, okay. So, we have to search for clues in Bahari Bay. Um, okay, so we need to go somewhere over this way. I 
wonder if it's in the mines. We're gonna catch the scrap stopper really quick though because he's going to give you silk. Oh, let me check the map real quick. Let's see where's yeah, I want the in the mines. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and climb to the upper part of the mine. And we'll drop in from up there. No palladium. A torn long sleeve shirt made of fine material. It is stained with a concerningly vibrant red. Um, interesting. A worn silver signet ring with a proud horn skirt monk embezzled across the chest. That's what that one says. What's this one say? A sachet of mysterious brownish powder. Um, I was gonna say that looks kind of. A chef's knife buried in an old poster. You can barely make out the letters W T D, and right across the top of the paper. Um, I think that's what everything in this area probably. See anything else? So we're gonna. Oh, here's one. Never mind. A large pile of fur that appears to be naturally shed. Oh, and that was the last thing we needed to find. And now I just need to go and return back to Kenyatta. Okay. So, so here's what I found. Oh my dragon, this is so messed up. You actually found something? I mean, I knew we made a good team, but you're pretty good at solo work too, huh? This is so cool. I'm going to do some research and see if I can figure out what these clues mean. Don't go back out there though, okay? I don't need you getting hurt without me there to heal you. I can say, ooh, sounds like someone has a crush on me, or I don't want you to get hurt either. I want to say I don't want you to get hurt either. Nice. I'm barely even allowed out of my room half the time without my mom screaming at me. Trust me, I'll be fine. Oh. But it's kind of sweet of you to worry about me. Oh. Stop by again soon, okay? Even better, come at night so we can sneak out together. Hope you don't get murdered. And with that, we are going to end this part here. If you like this part, make sure you like and subscribe, and until next time.